Okay, suppose we have a set of numbers, say 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 plus, and it goes on. So we are adding all the even numbers, the sum of the first n even numbers. So let's say in this example, up to 156 or something. Okay, and we want to know what the answer is. That. Now, we could uh, use a calculator to add all of them, which takes ages, or we could use a clever mathematical trick. Now, I'm sure there's other clever ways of doing it, but in this video, I'm going to show you the way I learned. Now, what we're going to do is look at this number, which in this case is 156, the biggest number, and divide it by 2. So 156 divided by 2 equals 78, I guess not guess, I calculated, which I hope is right. Now the next thing we're going to do is get that 78, add 1 to it, which is 79, and multiply that together, okay, which gives me, I have no idea, so I am going to use a calculator. 78 times 79 is 6162. And, surprise, surprise, that is the answer to this question. The sum of the first n even numbers, in this case uh, 156. So that equals 6,166. Now, I just realized that there I have no quick method of actually proving that this is right because I can't just type 2 plus 4 plus 6 plus 8 because that's going to take minutes and I don't want to waste my time or uh, waste the video length. So uh, let's assume that's true. Yeah. Basically what you do is uh, get the biggest number, divide it by 2, add 1 to it, and then multiply that number plus that number plus 1. And the result number is basically the answer to this question. Okay, I'm just going to move on and show you quickly because the video length is actually really short. It's about one minute or two minutes, it's about two minutes and a half. So I'm going to show you a similar one, but instead of adding the even numbers, I am going to this time add the odd numbers. So 1 plus 3 plus 5 plus 7 plus 9, all the way up to, I don't know, 100 and 23, something like that. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is get this biggest number, 123, and we are going to add 1 to it, which equals 124. The second thing we're going to do is get that 124, and we are going to divide it by 2, which equals 62. Now, the third thing we're going to do is actually square that 62. Now I have no idea what that is either, so I'm going to use my calculator to say 2062 times 62 equals 3844. And surprise, surprise, that is the answer to this question. Okay, hopefully you found this interesting. I'm not sure if this uh, trick is useful at all because I have never used this in my life because, uh, before. Uh, even if you're like doing shopping or something, you might do that clever two digit time two digit calculation trick that I did in my second video. However, I have never come across a situation where I had to sum, uh, where, I had, where I had to add a certain number of odd numbers together. But it's, isn't it? I don't know, it's fun to know. It's one of those like maths tricks that isn't too useful but is fun to know and use. 